So in this video, I'm going to show you the LBM latent bridge matching uh, in Gumpy UI. As you can see, this is the GitHub page of LBM. So we, there are a few examples set up and everything. I'm going to show you how to set up as well. So this is the Hugging Face website. Over here, there is given instruction to what to do. And then we need to download these files from LBM wrapper. This is the Kajai version. So as you can see, this is an example. So we're going to download this kit clone this in, in custom nodes. As you can see, write CMD over here and just write git clone and paste the link. I've already done this. So I'm not going to download it again. And just copy my workflow. Then you will get a few errors. Just install that and everything will be good to go so before we start the video if you guys haven't already liked and subscribed then please do like and subscribe the video now let's get into comfy UI. So as you can see this is a photo and below that should be the model of the photo so as you can see this is the workflow and in this they it's using two photos to combine in one and to change the background so the lower one should be the model and the above one should be background related so as you can see this is the load lbm model that we just installed and the sample on the right so as you can see lbm save tensor file so the lbm file should be placed in the uh, load diffusion model folders so as you can see this is the outcome of the video of the image sorry it looks pretty recent as you can see right over here yes so this is actually combines both the photos and just relights the new image that it produced so Another example is this photo and this photo. I have, as you can see, right? I'm using 20 steps. So, this is the image that I got. And this model is very basic. We can use it in uh, 4 GB VRAM also, I think. And uh, in my RTX 4060, in my RTF 4060, it took like 20 seconds to do all this. So this is the new image right over here. So as you can see, this is the result that we got. So it's blending the shades of in the new photo. So this is another example. So this is what you heard. So in this one, uh, it's a bit weird, I think. It just moves out the facial expression and everything. Okay. So as you can see, this took me around 20 seconds to generate this photo. And all the photos like this was also generated in 20 seconds under 20 seconds so this is a very light model you can use if you want to use this let's get one more example i'm using all these photos because there are different shades in all the photos but the model remains the same so as you can see this is what we want this photo looks pretty decent. So you guys can download this model if you like it. So let's end this video right here. Thank you guys for watching. Please, if you haven't already liked and subscribed, then do like and subscribe my channel.